Hello guys, so welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video and in this video we're gonna be trying to build a passenger plane. Yup, you heard that right. We are not building a rocket, a spaceship, another fighter jet, or some weapon of mass destruction. We are building a commercial aircraft. So yeah, let's do it. Let's see how well we can do it. Okay, I wonder what's the record for the most amount of these little people down here fit into one vehicle in Kerbal Space Program. Hmm. Science. Not science. Cargo. Utility. Is it utility? Oh, it is utility. Okay, how many can this fit? Boom, 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 boom. Everybody. Wait, oh, they're all in here. Oh, okay. So, I'm assuming there are eight seats in this pod because there is four windows on each side, so eight seats. If we're trying to hit 50, we gotta do at least seven of these. So that would be like 50, 56. Oh boy, this is gonna be a very long plane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Seven! Oh, guys, this is a little too long. Yeah, this is, uh. Oh, yeah, definitely long enough. It's perfect, actually. A few moments later. Oh, oh my goodness. This is crazy. And I'm getting like 10 FPS. Honestly, it doesn't even look that bad. But let's just take off and see. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, there's no way we can take off from the runway. It's too big. Oh, we are flying. Oh, oh no. Okay, 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 okay. We, we, we recovered. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, we're flying. We're flying! It actually worked! Are you kidding me? And I'm getting 10 frames per second. It's actually flying! <laughs> oh, that's so that's insane. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it alone and we're just gonna see how fast this thing can go. It's flying really well. And plus I don't really wanna touch anything because this thing is so large and composed of so many parts that it could literally blow up with just one touch so I'm just gonna leave it alone oh <laughs> this looks insane look at all the engines oh my goodness we're about to break Mach 1 I mean Mach 3 oh this is insane Okay, let me just make this go horizontal. Oh no. Oh no, bad things are happening. There's no way I can recover this. There's no way. It's definitely too tail heavy. Uh, I might need to go fix that. But this is crazy. This is just crazy. I can't believe it worked. And the takeoff was kind of scary. Okay. So I have added some slight modifications. So first of all, I made it way, way slicker. Look at that. This looks perfect now. I wish there was a way to make this straight. But I've also added, I extended the, the fuselage a little bit longer now as well. Because uh, the center of mass was all the way back here. That's why I was doing that weird thing. And I've also added RCS so that we have more control. Especially during takeoff. Look at that. We definitely need it, that's for sure. So yeah, let's let's see if this thing can fly now. It looks so nice. Okay, let's take off. Can we take off? Nah, we still can't. Up, 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 up. Oh my goodness, that was too close. Okay, let's just climb in altitude for now. I don't really feel safe being this close to the water. 
Wait, we are somehow going slower than the other one. Why? Yeah, all the engines are all firing. I don't really know what's going on with it. Well, we do know for a fact this thing can reach Mach 3. I, I don't know why it's not doing it right now, but we do know it can. But yeah, we are just right over Mach 1. You know what? Since we already know that this thing can fly, and it can fly very fast and very high, let's see if it can land. That's a pretty important thing about planes. So let's lower, lower the throttle, and we will make our way around. We will try to land at the Kerbal Space Center. Okay, you can't say that this is not a beautiful shot right here. This is a this is a crazy shot. Look at this. Yeah, we are heading our way to Kerbal Space Center going Mach 1. Slightly over Mach 1. Oh no, I think I messed with it a little too much. Now it's being very unstable. Oh yeah. Okay, never mind. They're run they're on the way is like facing that way. Uh okay, so we're going to land for the grass. Okay, gears down. Okay. Oh ho, come on, please land. Oh, we are coming in a little too hot. Oh, oh, yeah, we came in a little too fast. Oh, no. Uh, I guess that's that. Yep. It is gone. This thing is huge. I wonder how much this thing weighs. I'm really curious. I'm really, really curious. Okay, honestly, let's go check it out. Bottom engineer's report. Bottom right. Okay, 360 parts. That's 360. Wow, that's kind of accurate. 258 tons. That's how heavy this thing is. So basically, this plane right here, this beautiful thing, is about as long as a Boeing 757. Or 10 meters shorter than the Concorde. The Concorde is 61.7 meters. This is 51.6 so it is 10.1 meters shorter than the Concorde. Let's say one more of this. That should make it as long as the Concorde. But I think this is good enough. So yeah, this concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.